Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about something that everyone finds super challenging, the motor effect. Okay, let's start off with two magnets. Now, it looks like there's nothing in between them. However, we know that there's a magnetic field which always points from north to south. What would happen if I placed a wire between those two magnets? Nothing interesting right now. The wire would just stay there and it wouldn't do anything. What about if I connected that wire with a cell? So now there's a current flowing through the wire. We know that this will create a magnetic field in the wire because of electromagnetism. Now we have the magnetic field of the magnets and the magnetic field of the wire interacting. There's going to be an interaction between these two fields and that will create a force on the wire. And as a result, the wire will begin to move. This is called the motor effect. However, if there's no current in the wire, there will be no force. Okay, what about the direction of the wire? We can work this out using Fleming's left hand rule. So remember, you have to use your left hand for this rule. The thumb represents the motion. This is going to tell us which way the wire will move. Our first finger will point from north to south, mimicking the magnetic field. And our second finger will point from plus to minus, following the current. Now, it's very important that we make sure we warm up our wrists, otherwise we could damage it and we don't want to do the exam with a broken hand. So, here's what you do. If you want to move the field, you do the following. So, just like that, we show that the magnetic field is changing. And if you want to show that the current is changing, you have to twist your wrist like this and back to normal. So here we have a wire between two magnets. We've also been given the direction of the current. Okay, so will this wire move into the paper and away from us, or will it move out of the paper and towards us? So first of all, we have to get our left hand ready. Now we're going to point from north to south with our first finger. Perfect. Now the first finger is lined up with the magnetic field, pointing from north to south. However, the second finger needs to line up with the current, plus to minus, which is moving downwards. So we're going to twist our wrist, making sure that we don't change the north to south pole. There we go. Perfect. So now the current is also pointing from plus to minus downwards, and our first finger is still north to south. Now we can look at the thumb. The thumb says that the wire will move towards us, out of the paper. Here's another question. Let's see if we can work out which way the wire is going to move. Again, we're going to need our left hand, and the magnetic field is pointing from north to south in this direction. So we're going to move our wrist so that we can point from north to south like that. Perfect. Next, let's look at the current. Plus to minus is going downwards. So again, moving the wrist until we meet both lines. So north to south and plus to minus. So now we can look at the thumb and the thumb says that the wire is going to move away from you into the paper. Okay, so in the first example, we had this scenario and we worked out that the wire is going to move out of the paper. In the second scenario, we had this example and we saw that the wire was going to go into the paper. Notice that the only difference between them is that you swapped the magnetic field and this caused the wire to move in an opposite direction. That means changing one thing causes the wire to go in the opposite direction. How about in this example? We've swapped the magnetic field and we've swapped the current. So will the wire go into the paper or will it go out of the paper? The answer is that the wire will go out of the paper just like in the first example. 
Remember, if you swap one thing, the wire will move in the opposite direction. However, if you swap both, then the wire will move in the same direction as the original. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.